Construction and verification of MOD 10 and MOD 12 triple counters. We will be using IC7476, a JK flip flop, a NAND gate IC7400 along with IC trainer kit. An arrangement of a M number of flip flops can be used to construct any MOD counter. A common modulus for counters with truncated sequences is 101010 called MOD 10. This is also called as a decade counter and this counts from 000 to 1001 and rest of the states are invalid. In case of mod 12 counter, the counter counts from 0000 to 1011 and the rest of the states are invalid. This is the logic diagram of mod 10 ripple counter. So here this ripple counter is asynchronous so only the first flip flop re receives the clock input directly from the clock and for remaining flip flops it is fed from the output of the previous stage and you can see the input of the NAND gate is given from QB and QD. In the case of mod 12 ripple counter the only difference will be the input to the NAND gate is given from QC and QD. This is the pin diagram of IC7476. And after connecting the circuit as per the logic diagram, we will be verifying the truth table. Hello students, now let us see the implementation of mod 10 ripple counter. This is also similar to the 4-bit ripple counter which we have already implemented. So here we are using IC7476 which is the JK flip-flop. Uh, the circuit connections are given as per the logic diagram depending upon the pin configuration for uh, 7476. In addition to the JK flip-flop, here we are also using a NAND gate that is IC7400. So the output from now as we can see um, this is the clock input signal which will be giving to the first flip flop and the clock signal for the rest of the flip flops will be taken from the output of the previous stage and given as the clock signal. This is the input high signal okay, which is given to the respective pins and this is the preset pin. Now after setting up according to the logic diagram let's verify the truth table now. So these are the output pins as we can see this is QA, QB, QC and QD. Now we will verify the truth table. Mod 10 counter is a decade counter which means it counts from 0, 0, 0 to 1001. 0, 0, 1. Okay. So now let's see. So the, now it is 1, 2 so and so on. It keeps counting in a consecutive manner up to 1001. 0, 0, 1. 1001. So after that it is again reset to 0 and it continues as such. So this is the implementation of mod 10 ripple counter. Now let us see the implementation of mod 12 counter. So the circuit connections are given as per the logic diagram. Here we have used JK flip flop as well that is IC7476 and uh, the outputs, two outputs from uh, the JK flip-flop are given to a NAND gate. So here QC and QD. So now here we have the inputs. This is the clock signal. This is the input high signal and this is the preset. Okay, so the clock signal is given to the first pin. And the uh, other clock signals for the remaining flip-flops are taken from the output of the previous stage. Now these are the outputs QA, QB, QC and QD. So here for mod 12 counter we can see that the counter counts from 0000 to 1101. So we can verify that from the output. Thus this is the implementation of mod 12 ripple counter.